Amara, I want to start with you. You know, Lily's journey throughout two seasons has been about navigating the ups and downs of life, which can be messy and living it on her own terms, which you brought so much nuance to. How did you create the space for yourself to dive into her arc? And did you channel any of your own personal experiences when oh, tackling yeah. this character? <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> yes, <laughs> literally, it's kind of like Lily's life played in my life. But anyways, yes, like I feel so much of myself is Lily, so much of my girlfriends is Lily. So, so many women relate to Lily because it's what we're constantly struggling with trying to find love trying to fa balance family expectations societal expectations our pressures be successful don't be too successful you push men away it's like what is all this <laughs> so where do we find our happiness and our journey and you know Lily in season two starts rock bottom she uh, is now is paving her way back to what she wants with her dreams with her career with her love life um so I'm just really excited for for everyone to see this 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 girl just navigate and 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 live, I think, be present in life a little bit more, mm -hmm. not take things for granted. Sometimes I feel like we don't appreciate being present. So for me, it's it's Lily's really kind of like owning who she is and taking control and leading the way. Great answer. And then Desmond, one of the benefits of television as a medium is the opportunity to live with these characters over an extended period of time and see their evolution. And Nick probably has the biggest transformation from season one into season two, where we're getting to learn more about him and what lies beneath. And you handle that with so much care. What were you most excited to dive deeper into Nick's journey? And how did that trust with, that you built with Gloria in season one allow you to take agency over his journey? It's insane the way you phrase that because it's it, you, you, you've hit the nail on the head as far as like, well, apart, apart from the part where you're like, you know, how did I tackle that? How did I find I didn't, I I had the right people around me, you know, it, it's, it's good working with Emerald and, and, and having Glow and Andy and um, there to sort of guide me through the process because I, I sort of came in with, with, with season one Nick in, head, in my head. I was like, he's the wisecrack guy who like has mm. sex with a lot of people, you know what I mean? Um, and then they were like, no, 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 no. He actually learns a lot and develops a heart and has an EQ this season. Um, and they helped sort of guide me through that process of like, you know, how do we, how do we find, how do we find the funny in having dignity? You know what I mean? It, which is a tricky, tricky balance for me. Um, so that, that part was handled, but it was made so much easier by the people around, you know, and, and I think you did hit the nail on the head as far as like Nick having the biggest swing from season one to season two. It was like a little... I know. A little whiplashy, you know? <laughs> yeah, the, you know, Rome, for you, when we're introduced to your character, he very much sees life as the glass half full and looks at love from a very practical standpoint. But with his relationship with Lily and advice from his father, he starts to have a change of heart, which you brought so brilliantly to life on screen. How did you prepare to tackle that juxtaposition? Um, it, it wasn't it wasn't hard, just considering the um, progression of things. Um, you, we started at one point in the beginning of season two, and then toward the end of it, it felt like we earned that opportunity for him to have that realization. Um, and if it, it just felt right, it felt like that was a moment that was needed to happen. Um, and at the end, you know, it, it ended in a way where we don't really know, but, you know, at least we got to have that opportunity for him to have that kind of epiphany. Because um, I don't know if he really felt that way for most of the season.